the question which when I studied with Sheikh Ziaur Rahman Azmi, may Allah grant him Jannah, that when we talk about Quran and Sayyid Hadith, we don't have all the Sayyid Hadith compiled. The maximum I could do, I studied with him in the year 1997. We could say, okay, take Sil Sahih, but that doesn't have all the Sayyid Hadith. It contains the Sayyid Hadith in Qutb Sitta only. Bukhari Muslim and the other four books. So Alhamdulillah, after Sheikh Zia Rahman Azmi, he retired. There are many scholars in the last 1400 years who tried to compile all the Sahih Hadith together in one volume, but all those who tried, they never completed the project. Alhamdulillah, Sheikh Zia Rahman Azmi, after he retired, he took about 17 to 18 years to complete this project and he compiled all the Sahih Hadith together and he compiled in a book called as Jame Kamil. Al Hadith as Sahih as Shamil. The full name is Al Jame Al Kamil Al Hadith as Sahih as Shamil. Short form it's called Al Jame Kamil. And about four years ago, he compiled it and the first edition was published. And after it was published, the revision was done about two years before and it was printed just in this year. And Alhamdulillah, after the second edition was printed and published and Sheikh Ziyar Rahman Azmi, he checked it up and he was happy that at least the revised edition was out. Though he wrote the manuscript in 20 volumes, it was printed the first edition in 12 volumes. The second edition, because the print was larger, it came in 18 volumes. He also made a Muqtasar Jame Kamil in 5 volumes. In the original Jame Kamil, as Sheikh Ziyar Rahman Azmi said, there were more than a million hadith. Out of the million hadith, there are many duplicates. Like in Sahih Bukhari, if you remove the duplicates, there are 2,220 hadith. So if you compile all the 1 million hadith and remove the duplicates, according to Sheikh Zeram and Azmi, there were about 60,000 hadith. From the 60,000 hadith, he collected only the Sahih hadith, removing the duplicates. And in his Jame Kamil, there are 16,546 hadith. So according to Sheikh Ziyarim and Azmi, after removing the duplicates, the Sahih Hadith today in the world are 16,546. And we can safely say, if not 100%, at least this compilation of his, at least minimum, contains 95% of the Sahih Hadith. In this compilation, he has given the Hujja, he has his own criteria, he compiled all the Hadith which are Sahih and removed the duplicates. He gave a reason that if this hadith was sahih, and according to him it was zaif, he even mentioned that outside his Jame Kamil. So there are additional 3000 hadith, which other scholars say it is sahih, but he says it is zaif, and he gives hujja why it is zaif, and he mentions it so that people don't think he has forgotten. Then he has even added in that 3000 hadith, the very common hadith, famous hadith, but they are zaif, famous hadith, which are maudu, for example, the very common and famous hadith that ikhtilaf is arhama, it is a maudu hadith. There's another maudu hadith that as far as you go to acquire knowledge, no problem. Even if you go to China, China was never the seat of knowledge at the time of the Prophet. The hadith is maudu. So he mentioned this famous hadith, but it did not say hadith. It is a maudu and giving his reason. So totally Jame Kamil contained 16,546 hadith plus approximately 3,000 hadith which other Muaddisin has said say and he says it is Zaif or the other famous Hadith which are Zaif and Maudu so people don't think he has missed out. And in this, the big volume which is printed 12 volume in the first edition, 18 in the second edition, this has given the Takhrik, the details, why it is Zaif, why it is Zaif and all the reasoning. And if the Hadith is there, he gives the references there in Say Bukhari, Hadith number so and so, including Sahih Muslim, Hadith number so and so, including Abu Dawud, Hadith number so and so. So after the end of every Hadith, has, it is available in three books of Hadith, or available in five books of Hadith, or two books of Hadith, or only one book of Hadith. The details are given so that you come to know from where it comes. In the Muqtasar, Jame Kamil, which is in five volumes, the Takhrij, the research has been removed so that it's easy for a layman to read. So the complete Jame Kamil is mainly for scholars and for the Muhaddisin. For a layman, the Muqtasar is sufficient. The Muqtasar, we have started translating it into English. 
It was a three years project. We started it about four years back. But unfortunately, when the translation was complete, I was then happy with the English language. So we are revising it. So now we have completed one third of the revision. Inshallah, next year, by the end of next year, it will be out. So we will, inshallah, translate the Muqtasar, which is in five volumes. And it will be easy for people who don't know Arabic to read it and to understand it. We are translating also into Urdu and other languages. We repeat to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this work is a phenomenal work. So when we say Quran and say Hadith, now you can say Quran and Jami Kamil. Jami Kamil contains all the Hadith of Bukhari, all the Hadith of Muslim, all the Sahih Hadith which is there in the Qutb al-Sitta, in Abu Dawud, in Sunan Nisai, in uh, Sunan Tirmidhi, in Ibn Majah, Mu'atta Malik. There are other books of Sahih. The other books of Sahih that we know that Bukhari and Muslim are only two books which are 100% authentic. And scholars even say that Imam Muatta Malik, all Sahih. So for a layman, if he wants to know, he cannot do research. If the Hadith of Bukhari or Muslim or Imam Muatta Malik, safely he can say the Hadith is Sahih. Otherwise, he has to check whether it is Sahih or not.